Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Pretty Poison, a variety gamer from South Africa. This is my Sims 4 YouTube channel, so if you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more Sims 4 videos. Also, I noticed that most of my viewers are not even subscribed to my channel, so please guys smash that subscribe button and give this video a like if you do enjoy it. So today's video I am renovating one of the default sims builds, it's Creek Cabana. I decided I'm going to give all the default builds a renovation, you know like just add a bit of my touch to it. So the wall structure has to stay exactly the same but then the, everything else I can change. So, oh yeah, And the roof must stay exactly the same. So that is what I'm doing. I'm starting off in the bathroom. I'm using the shower head from the snowy skate pack to make a custom shower. And then I am using a counter island which I flip around because I want that piece at the back to put clutter. I like putting clutter behind the basin. And then also by the toilet I used a shelf, not a shelf, an end table from the spa day pack. To also put clutter behind the toilet so basically i'm just trying to create more room to put a lot more clutter and a lot of the clutter pieces i used is from the bathroom clutter kit which is really amazing i absolutely love this kit so yeah and then i just recolor them so that the colors fit nicely into this bathroom setting then i add some more wall art especially by the shower it looks a bit bland so i try to make it decorative and i use the shelf from the spa day pack to make it look like that's where all the bath soaps the shampoo and whatnot is and then those wall plants i used is from the blooming rooms kit i am sorry if i sound a bit weird i am a bit sick my nose is blocked so yeah sorry about that and then i add these streamers just for a little extra touch i've never really used these streamers but i felt like i want to use them more so i that's what i tried to do then this will be the girl child bedroom so i absolutely love these lights hanging from the ceiling it is from the high school years back and also a lot of furniture used in this room is from the high school years back like the dresser the cabinet the desk the chair it's all from the high school years back and I use the shelf so that I can position the stuff nicely in the air. So when I put the desk back, that those stuff actually sit nicely on the shelf of the desk. So yeah, the desk is obviously <laughs> where she's doing her homework and studying. That's why there's a lot of books. So you can see this child, she must be really smart because she has a lot of books. And then I'm just placing the stuff around the bottom part of the table. I need to make sure that she can actually still use the table to do her homework, which she can at the end. I did test it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Add some glasses and just looking for some final touches. I always use a plant as a final touch to fill up any blank space. And then yeah, by a dress, I'm just arranging these. I don't know what they are. They like ornaments or they can be plushies let's say they are plushies so yeah just arranging that there it's a little notepad where she can make a quick note if she wants to i actually move that to the desk box of tissues i feel like you should always have tissues ready you never know when you're gonna need them and then for the bed i just also put a little teddy and a pillow just to make it look a bit more used so it's not so boring and it is still functional she can still lie on the bed sleep in the bed and whatnot then i put a shelf above her head by the bed just to put some more final clutter pieces you know maybe ornaments and stuff and a lot of streamers on the wall like i feel like she's gonna grow up as a when she's a teenager she's gonna be a cheerleader so i also have the pom-poms on the wall Then by her arts and craft table, I also put some more picture frames because that's the artwork she's busy working on. So yeah, above her head, I put this plant and then I put her megaphone and a box of snacks. So she also has some snacks in her bedroom. And I love this little pink one. It's so cute when you size it down. And then I put these streamers on the door. And once again, it does work. You can still come in and out the room with the streamers hanging like that, which I actually didn't know before. I took a 
gamble yet and I tried it and it actually worked out so I'm really happy about that because it looks so pretty. I mean I've never really used those streamers before. And then I just put a bunch of posters on her walls. She is a child becoming a teenager soon and usually teenagers have a lot of posters all over their walls, even children, so that's kind of the vibe I was going for over here. And then by a bedside table we just put some final pieces like her wallet, her phone, her house keys and even a coffee mug so when she wakes up she has a mug of coffee and that's how she starts her day I guess. Now for the mother's bedroom, I actually already made this family but you guys can move whatever sims you want in here but for my family it is a mother and a daughter. So I tried to make like a custom headboard which you can see using that marble cover thingy from the dine out pack and then this is going to be the closet which i actually do close up and use windows to make the doors and then i use the mega hulk i think it's called it's this big knob you usually put on the outside of the houses i size that down to make it the handles for this closet now i have actually done this a few times before in my previous build so i thought let me do this again for this build i haven't done it in a while and i think it looks pretty cool i don't know So in this corner we are going to put a workstation slash dressing table. So I take a computer table and I size it down because I want the computer to sit on a shelf. So now I'm just trying to find the right shelf that I want to use. I end up using this shelf from the base game. I absolutely love this shelf, like I use it for a lot of stuff. And then yeah, on the edge I put these wall bars to... Pretend that's the support for the shelf, you know. I think it looks pretty cool. And then I actually add a second shelf that's going to be like more the dressing table kind of side. And by dressing table, I just mean like where the makeup and hair stuff is. So then I just add a bunch of clutter down and try and place it as nice as possible on the shelf. I actually end up using the shelf from the high school years back to position it better on the the brown shelf it's a lot of shelving going on oh my goodness so yeah now i'm just positioning all the clutter that i want to use here in this area some candles so maybe while she's working she can light the candles to create a nice smelling aroma and then we also have some books that we are placing here and some what do you call that and some boxes which contain some of her work stuff in it and I did test the computer is 100% functional with a trick. So the trick is first let your sim sit on the chair and then let her interact with the computer. Otherwise she doesn't want to. So it does work but you just have to do that extra step of first making her sit down and then use the computer. So then I'm just adding some shoes over here because I mean what closet doesn't have shoes? And then we just added some more books in the shelf. I feel like this house has a lot of books, especially the child's room. But in any case. And then I add some more clutter here on the bed rest on top. Just to make it look not so bland or boring, I guess. Then I add these flowers from the Echo Lifestyle Pack to the wall just to put some decoration there. I didn't really know what I was going to do there, but I think it worked out. And then of course she must have her high school diploma by her workstation just to show she is smart and she did pass high school. And I absolutely love these this wall fishies from the dine out pack. It's so beautiful. So now I'm just putting a bunch of picture frames on the walls just to cover up the wall space and make it look more busy and decorative. So that could be like pictures of her family members or something like that. Then in this corner, this round table and plant I put there, I actually do end up having to move it because she couldn't get around the bed. It was not functional, so I had to remove it, which is sad because it looks so pretty and I feel like there's more than enough space for her to walk around. But yeah, because she couldn't, I did have to rearrange some stuff there and move it to make sure that the bed is functional. And then I covered the desk under the shelf by the computer with those boxes. So you can't see the little desk we size down. And then, of course, last touches is some lights in the room because you need to see. I mean, you need to be able to see, so a light is a must. And then some stuff on the bed. 
Again, the bed is functional with the stuff on the bed. So then we are heading over to the kitchen. So in the kitchen, I use the stove and oven from the Dream Home Decorator Pack. I like using the loose pieces. I don't like using the fully built stove. I think it looks better if it's in the cupboard. And then the shelves from Island Living, I size down and they actually fit perfectly in that piece of wall. Then I look for a oven hood to match this kitchen. It, it took a few tries, but I think this one works. Now I'm just looking for a bunch of clutter to fill up the open blank spaces, like the chicken, the wine bottles, and then of course some plants. absolutely love using the dish rack from the foreign pack it's really beautiful and then all these jars from the dine out pack is also really cool so it's like you put in pasta jars there or something pasta rice that kind of stuff so yeah it looks more like a kitchen basically because you have all the stuff you need then heading over to the living room i actually put a easel behind the couch just to fill up the blank space but also now my son can actually do some art So this is quite a small space for the kitchen, dining room and living room, but I think we made it work. And then put some decoration by the entrance, especially the hooks where she can put her handbags and whatever. And then also some wall art above the fridge and in the kitchen. I tried to put as much art in the kitchen as I could fit. And then in the living room we are doing the clutter, so you know... In the living room you've got your games you play with the family, you've got books, you've got drinks and whatnot. Then by the shelf under the TV I actually put a bunch of plants which is going to be removed. It's just placeholder so I can put the plants under the table which I think looks really pretty. I've never done this before, I actually love it. So yeah, that is what I tried then. I think it came out pretty cool. And then for the walls, I also just put a bunch of random picture frames again. Just piecing them together to make the wall look busy and more used. Now, I don't really... I feel like I don't really have nice wall art for The Sims. Like, I don't know which packs to get that actually has really cool wall art. So if you guys know, please comment down below and let me know what packs has really cool wall art that I should get. Because it's something I really need, I think. And then above the TV, I put more shelves just to add a bit more clutter above the TV. So like just some books and boxes. We have the triangle pillow, a little plant. And that is the living room. I think it came out pretty cool. There's a lot of space for clutter. These people have a lot of stuff actually. And then above the fridge, I also put a few items. I feel like it is too boring if there's nothing on the fridge. Like it can't just stand empty like that. And now for the hallway, I am just using some wall art and I put these two cupboards in the hallway. So that can be like a linen closet. Let's say that's where the bedding is and curtains and stuff like that. And then I use these plants as well on the wall. I think that's also from the dine out pack. And then I'm just going around filling some blank space with more plants. I like that carpet that I put by the easel with the bubbles. It looks really cool. So yeah, that is the inside of the house. Now we move into the outside. This is the porch area. I put a lot of seating so the, they can chill like with their friends outside on the porch. And I also put a pink camping chair outside on the porch for the little girl. She could like, maybe she wants to just sit outside and observe nature. So she can do that over there. Then... The last piece, or not really the last piece, is the landscaping. So I put these pot plants by the windows outside. And then with the landscaping, I also put a barbecue area. Because I feel like each house should have a barbecue area. And then I'm just putting a bunch of plants. Now a lot of these plants I actually use is from the debug menu. So they are for free. And also the plants are from the debug menu are actually bigger than the normal ones you buy. Like these you see I place now. Which is really cool because I'm not good with landscaping. So then the big plants help cover up more of the landscape. 
so that I can put less if that makes sense I don't know but that's what I did here just put in a bunch of random plants but that's it for this house build next up is the house tour and some screenshots so please guys let me know in the comments do you guys prefer a speed build where there is a voiceover for the whole video like I did in this video do you prefer it if there's just like a little intro and then there's music playing for the video or do you guys prefer a stop motion video with music or like what do you guys prefer watching i will really appreciate some feedback on this because i make videos but i don't really know what you guys want or like what the majority of the viewers want considering the fact that most of my viewers are not even subscribed it is a bit concerning so i'm just i'm trying to figure this out so that i can do better but thank you guys so much for watching this video please give it a like subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and i will see you in the next video poison out